Before I did stuff on the telly, I was one of those people that would chat to you in a queue. I'm very like that. I'm very, and some people love it. And you hear, you know, other people think, "Why is this man talking to me? This weirdly tall man with glasses." <laughs> um, but now, because I do a bit of stuff on the telly, some pe people kind of make overtures and they say, "Hey, what was it like meeting this tallest woman in the world?" Or, "Where's Nedge?" You know, everyone know about balls of steel. <laughs> I've got a slightly sort of peculiar take uh, on stand-up, which is I got I had a big burst of it when I started, and then I wound up getting to do lots of telly shows, which was, you know, what a lot of stand-ups spend 10 years dreaming of doing. And then, you know, I've kind of come the other way. I've done 10 years of telly, and I want to do more stand-up now. It feels like unfinished business. Can we make some noise in the room if we're married? Yay. There you go. <laughs> And so what it's meant that over the years, you know, all the stuff I've done on the box, things like the documentaries and Balls of Steel and a hidden camera show called The Richard Taylor Interviews, it's all about people and interacting with people. So that's what my show is. I've deliberately, I, I think essentially the show I do this year is about 40 minutes long. And I've deliberately not done, written an hour so that I've got to talk to the audience. So basically the interaction is built into the format of the show. And that's how I like to do it. <laughs>